Lanier Pero versus Joel Caudo. Caudo? Am I pronouncing that right? Caudo. Um, <laughs> oh man, it's uh, a little past midnight. I'm honestly tired and sleepy right now. But anyway, uh, Pero versus Caudo. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate it. So this fight between uh, Pedro and Kado is scheduled for eight rounds to take place this coming weekend, this Saturday on the 20th of August over in Hollywood, Florida. Florida at the uh, Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. In the undercard of Figueroa versus Lepinets. Originally, it was supposed to be Figueroa versus Broner, but Broner backed out due to mental illness. And now, uh, when it comes to talking about this fight specifically between Pero and Caudo, uh, to my understanding, it won't be part of the main card on Showtime, but Showtime tends to show the preliminary card right here on YouTube. Um, they usually live stream it, so uh, if you want to see it, um, Hopefully, hopefully Showtime uh, broadcasts their uh, preliminary fights here on YouTube. So anyway, uh, Pedro Caudo, to those who don't know who Pedro is, he's a 29-year-old fighter from Cuba. Undefeated, 7 wins, 0 losses, 4 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Coming off a win against Hector Perez, he also beat uh, Giovanni Bruzon, giving him his first loss. He's fought in Germany a few times. Now here he is fighting in his uh, eighth professional fight against Joel Caudo, a 32-year-old fighter from North Carolina with a record of 9 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws, 6 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Joel is coming off a win against Robert Saba. Um, that's a good win, uh, giving Saba his first loss. He uh, lost, He was for a while he was in a losing streak. Losing to um, Johnny Langston, Cassius Cheney, uh, Sarah Delgado, George Arias, Sonny Conto. Uh, I can't remember which fight specifically was the one where he fell off the ring. There was one fight where he fell off the ring. Um, I'm not sure which one among these guys that he's fought. Uh, did I see him fight when he fought Cassius Cheney? Huh, let me double check. When he fought him in July 2019. Tifim Lopez versus Nakatani. Oh, I wasn't there. I didn't watch the fight. It was unfortunate the night Maxim Dadashe passed away. Um, I think I was in Jersey, I think. Watching another event. Anyway, um, yeah, Kaoru, you know, honestly, best, uh, I'm just going to base this fight on resumes. Uh, Pero is a good fighter. He has a Cuban boxing background. And I think he should be able to go out there and beat Caudo. It's just one of those fights where obviously the A-side is supposed to win, stay busy, get a W, and move on to bigger and better things. Uh, but with that being said, it is the heavyweight division. One punch can change the entire fight. Uh, you never know. If he could land something clean on Pero, then... Uh, you know, if Pedro gets careless, then you never know what will happen in this fight. But on paper, should be a win for uh, Pedro. I'll be shocked and surprised if he somehow loses this fight, but we'll find out soon enough. So I say Pedro TKO late rounds or uh, winning by decision. Again, scheduled for eight rounds, so I'd say seven rounds to one in favor of Pedro. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.